We're delighted to be joined by Finn Hart's winning manager, Ali Horgan, after a 2-0 victory away to Bohemians. Ali, I was saying it to Mark earlier, obviously this result means so much to the league in general, but just for yourselves, this is just a massive result that gives you a great chance of staying up in the Premier Division. Well, it puts us in the playoff, is, is, is all it does, you know, and uh, yeah, it's a great result, but it's just a pity we couldn't have got a result like that a month ago, or, or, or at the restart in August when we were well off the pace. Uh, look, we've got a playoff to, to prepare for and that's going to bring with it savage difficulty, especially in a one-off game. And we're going to be playing a team that's going to be, you know, win a semi-final, win a final of, of, of the playoff in the first division. And they'll have huge momentum going into that one-off game in a couple of weeks' time. You touched on that. I know you, you publicly stated at the start of the season that if you're given the playoff place, you take mm. it. There's three games left. There's nine points to play for. You're at home in all three. Can you still believe you can even avoid the relegation? Uh, we, we have a decision to make. Like, I mean, with a lot of bodies on there with injuries, with a suspension now coming up. Uh, realistically, to, 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 to play the likes of Pats, Sean McGrothers and Wallace are three of the best sides in the country at the moment. Uh, no, nah, you take a miracle, you know, to put it that way to you. Uh, we, we, we've, got to, we've got to decide whether we have a cut off it or whether we prepare for the playoff. And like as I said there, you're hard to be saying, yeah, we'll have a cut off it, but your head will be saying, we need to be right for a playoff because we know how difficult it is. And, 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 and this year will be, it will be as difficult, if not more difficult than ever. Mark Russell was your goal scoring hero tonight. First goal obviously was a bit of ping ball in the box. Second goal though, do you think he had a strike like that in his locker? Mark has that, yeah, and without doubt. Mark has that, he always had that. It's just that he probably didn't get into that area of the pitch often enough to, to, to get strikes away. Um, he's a good left foot in him. You know, he, he did well tonight and you know, he, he, needs, he needs to kick on because he has ability. And we, you know, we're only getting to see the best of Mark, but we need to see him for the playoffs. Uh, he scored one last year to keep us up, but you know, we might be dependent on the score another to keep us up this year. Yeah, that's three clean sheets, five games of beaten in a row. You can see why now with that strong defensive unit. I thought in the second half, when Bowles came at you, you were well able for and any time they did breach you. Mark made a couple of great saves, David made a brilliant goal line clearance. Yeah, look, when you're when you're ahead, you're ahead. If that is, you know, if, if Bowles had scored earlier on, Keith Ward had two good chances. Had they gone one up, it might have been a different event completely. Look, it's a win. That's the height of it. If it came a month ago, we'd be probably answering those questions in a different way. It's probably come a little bit too late, but better coming out than that at all. And at least we know we're in the playoff now, and and and, and we've got to prepare for it as such. I hate to rain on your parade a small little bit, but. Carlos Sullivan went off injured in the first yeah. half. The old Donlan got sent off yeah. there towards the end. You already had the likes of Mark Timlin out. Yeah. Sam Todd didn't play tonight. No. Things like that won't help you. For the Absolutely not. No, with the number that we left behind that, that weren't fit to play tonight. Obviously, Leo would be suspended. Uh, Carl has got an injury. There are a lot of other knocks and heavy knocks in there that they may not be right for Windsor. And that's really where we've got to sit down and make a decision. You know, even with a full team, Pats are a, ser you know, a serious outfit, the best comfortably in the league up in, up in each court. And even with a full team out, they could turn you over comfortably. So we, we, need to, we need to make a decision whether we prepare now for, for three weeks' time or whether we have a cut off it. But, but, but look, we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy tonight and move on to tomorrow. Yeah. And rightly so. And there are a lot of Finn Harris fans out there that, obviously, like everyone else in the country, they've gone through tough times over the last couple of weeks. This is going to give them a great boost. Yeah, well, the only boost really that we're worried about is whether we can stay in this division or not. Like, you know what I mean? We're not trying to, you know, the, the last thing we need, though, is, 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 is people to, to more or less say, well, you bet Bowes away, so you'll stay up. And we all know the, 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 the pros and cons of that one, you know. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good victory for us. Uh, do we get Bowes at a good time? I don't think you can get Bowes at, 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 at is it, this other a good time. Um, you know, you can see when, when Keith and, and Trevor put on the younger lads, they cause a serious bother through the middle. And, and you know, it was, it was in wide areas we were getting done maybe with their, with their starting 11. Uh, look, good luck to them, they've done brilliantly. And look, tonight's about us for once, because normally when we're here, we, we, we're second best. Thankfully, we got over the lane tonight.